Today, we're gonna go over, taste, and discuss whiskey that I should have done a long time ago. We're gonna talk about Saints Alley Port and Cognac Cask Finish. I don't know why I haven't done this yet. I'm excited. Let's, Let's go. Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Carlos. Thank you for joining me here on the Whiskey Corner. Truly appreciate you guys stopping by, checking out the video and checking out the channel. Right off the bat, I gotta tell you, I've been doing a few different reviews and tastings and videos, so I might slur a little bit. <laughs> hey, it just goes with the territory. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you are feeling generous, please do me the favor and subscribe because that will really, really help me out. And you can also check out the Patreon in the description. $3 gets you in and that will help me out as well. Let's get straight into it because I'm just excited about this and I cannot believe that I haven't done a review video of this yet. Um, and we're talking about Saints Alley Port and Cognac Cask Finish. Now this batch five and the reason I bought this is because I tasted it at my local total wine they gave me a sip of their batch four of this particular one and I was hooked guys I was like I need to go get that and then I get to the aisle and they don't have batch four so I opted for batch five which is the only batch that they had of this particular one and I'm glad I got it because as you can see you know I've been drinking it and uh, I've been drinking it and then I put it away behind some bottles and I didn't notice it until today. And I noticed that I didn't do a review video on this yet. Um, so if you don't know St. Sally, it is a collaboration between Iron Root Republic and Chris Trevino, the Liquor Hound. So if you don't know the Liquor Hound, he has YouTube videos. I remember watching YouTube videos from him and I still kind of do. Um, so when I found out that it was one, Iron Root Republic, and two, from the Liquor Hound, I was like, oh crap, I didn't know this. So I was late to the party, I guess. I, um, damn, I'm almost, I'm always late to the party. But I had to buy one and see what this was about. Now I know a bunch of people have done reviews on this and all of that, but I gotta tell you guys, I am not a wine finished type of guy. I don't really like it. But I have noticed lately that port wine um, blends pretty well with bourbon. So all the port wine finishes that I have here, I am digging, right? I don't know, it could be my palate. But this one is finished in port and cognac cask. It is 100 proof and I believe it cost me like 60 to $70. Let's say it's under 70, right? 70, let's just say 70, because it was the max. Um, it was a little pricey for what I was envisioning, but after I got that taste, I was like, okay, I can probably get a bottle. So again, this is from Chris Trevino, the Liquor Hound, and from Iron Root Republic. And back here, they do say that the meticulous blend brings together the spice of MGP's high rye bourbon, Iron Root's award-winning sweet and vicious heirloom corn bourbon, a section and accentuated by the juicy stone fruits of the port casks and the lingering finish of the cognac casks. Enjoy responsibly, saintsalley.com. <laughs> um, so that's pretty cool. I didn't know that they had MGP bourbon in here um, and it's an MGP high rye bourbon. So that's actually pretty cool. So it's not just that Texas bourbon that you're getting in it. It's also that MGP bourbon and then they're mixing it together, blending it together. And then on top of that, finishing it in port and cognac cask. That's a long process. So I'm excited to get into this. 
I didn't like that pop, but uh, yeah, let's taste this. Uh, that's a little more than what I wanted. Maybe I shouldn't be drinking all of that, but hey, it's all something that needs to be done, right? Let's go in for a nose and a taste. Like right from the beginning, it is like brown, like burnt sugar, burnt brown sugar, and like caramel right from the beginning. Honey, uh, like charred oak, tobacco. And there's some fruit, it's almost like a bubble gum, but like a fruity bubble, like a juicy fruit. There you go. Yeah, juicy fruit, wow. I am getting a little bit of that rice spice. It's actually like tingling my nostril. Wow, this is good guys. It is like literally drawing me in. Like I wanna like chug this freaking bottle, but <laughs> I won't do that. Let's go in for a taste, cheers. So that caramel and that brown sugar is translating into the into the um, into taste as well. You're getting like apricots or peaches. You're definitely getting some plum in there. Um, tobacco for sure, and you guys know I love tobacco in my bourbon. Um, I'm getting a, like a chocolate taste, like a milk chocolate. Um, I already said brown sugar. You're getting a tiny bit of a rye spice. And quite honestly, now that I talk about rye spice, you're definitely also getting like a mintiness. And I associate that usually with rye. So it's a good mint is what I'm trying to say. Um, not a bad mint. I actually do enjoy it because it's just like, you know, when you have a, a, a chocolate mint um, and then you still have that mint uh, taste afterwards, that's what I'm getting right now. It's actually pretty good. Um, cheers, let's go in for the last one. You're getting that corn whiskey. I attribute like candle wax taste to corn. Not that I eat candle wax, but um, what you would think candle wax would taste like because that's what it smells like. That's what I'm tasting and I actually like that as a type of taste for my bourbon. And I attribute that to corn in the whiskey. Um, and then you're getting a little bit of cherries in there as well. I enjoy this guys. I actually do really enjoy it and I think it is blended very well together. You're not really getting like too much of like the cognac, too much of the um, port finish. Like it is just all blended well together and I really do enjoy this and I think at 70 bucks, yeah it's a little bit high but you gotta understand the process that this went through. Um, one they took MGP high rye bourbon, they took um, Texas uh, corn bourbon, they mixed it together, then they finished it in a port cast, then they finished it in a cognac cast, then they go through the different tastings and the palates and all of that, and then they give it to you. So when you think about all of that, you're like, okay, maybe that took a little bit longer. Um, so I can I can see justifying that price with that said I would give this a 3.8 um, Yeah, I really do like this. This is pretty freaking good um, And now that I'm thinking I, I, I have to start giving some bourbons like a four right or like a four point something right But right now this is a 3.8 
palm trees. I do enjoy it. I think this is great. And I think if you haven't tasted it and you're willing to taste something that's like finished in port and in cognac cast, this is definitely the one that you want to go after. So definitely check them out. I find these in my local Total Wine. Hopefully you do too. Um, but you can check out more information on saintsalley.com or even the very own Iron Root Republic, right? Um, I would definitely give this as a buy. You need to experience this, especially if you like like those type of finished bourbons. Definitely pick one up. Let me know, have you seen these in your area? One, how much do they go for? Are they scarce or do you find them a lot? I usually find these a lot. Um, but if you've tasted it, how do you like it? If you haven't tasted it, would you buy it? And would you taste it at that $60, $70 range? Comment below, love talking back and forth with you guys. Please like or dislike this video. Please subscribe, cause that will really, really help me out. Lastly, I'm gonna enjoy the rest of this Saints Alley uh, Port and Cognac finish bourbon. And I want you to enjoy that whiskey. Cheers.